Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the East Sung Meadow Girls Varsity Volleyball Game versus Commerce High School. I'm Annalisa Mazza here by side my camera girl, Nina Fazio, as this is the East Sung Meadow Varsity Girls Volleyball Team, as I just said. This is their sixth game of the season. East Sung Meadow is currently 0-5 and five with five losses to Amherst, Long Meadow, Frontier, Agawam, and Chog. Our visitors today, again, are from Commerce. We, uh, They have a 2-4 and four season. There are two victories are versus Pioneer uh, Valley and Putnam High School. As of right now, they've had no similar opponents, so you really can't tell how it's going to go. Our captains for this year are Julia Decker, a junior, and Jamie Mikowitz, a senior. East Long Meadow is coached by Bran Safford. This is his fourth season. And Commerce Regional High School is coached by Gary Mitchell. And this is his second season. Last year, the Red, uh, Raiders from Commerce were 8 and 12. So let's have ourselves a good game. Number 13, Julia Decker, will start with the serve. And game's on. Hit in the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Again, East Long Meadow has yet to have had a victory this year, so hopes are still high for one today. Another great serve there by Julia. Easy hit over. Double hit was called against East Long Meadow. Point goes to Commerce. Good return hit by uh, number 15, Jamie Mikowitz. Hit into the net. Point goes to Commerce. Oh, great save dig there by uh, Commerce as Caroline O'Connor saves it in for East Long Meadow. Hit into the net there by East Long Meadow. Point again goes to Commerce. It's either a double hit or a raise of the ball. So foul against Commerce. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Great save there by number 18, Kara Balboni. Good attempt hit there by Commerce. But ball was out of bounds. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Scores all tied up now. 3-2-3 three, three in the first game of today's match. Bit of communication trouble here for Commerce, but it seems to be very quiet on the East Long Meadow sector as well. Good hit there by Commerce. Good save hit there by Jamie Mikowitz. Lack of communication, point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently 6-3 East Long Meadow.
Hit into the net. Point goes to Commerce. For those of you who were past volleyball fans, or volleyball, East Long Meadow volleyball fans in the past for the girls, this year they are sporting some new uniforms. So even though they are very similarly dressed to the Commerce players, we do uh, differ in a sense that we have our black stripe uniforms this year. Strong serve there. Great serve there by our, our libero, number two, Caroline O'Connor. Lift for the ball, point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently 9-5 East Long Meadow. Great hit there by Commerce. Oh, unlucky hit there by Commerce, point goes to East Long Meadow. It seems that uh, both sides of the court today are a little uh, lackluster in the energy field. Um, hopefully it picks up within the next two games or so. Um, but again, lack of communication there on Commerce side will hinder their performance. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently 11 East Long Meadow, 5 Commerce. Score currently 13 East Long Meadow, 5 Commerce High School. Another great serve there by Carolyn O'Connor. Great communication on East Long Meadow's part. Good dig there by Commerce. Oh, good attempt of a save. Tip off the finger, point goes to Song Meadow. Good hit there, lack of communication, point goes to Commerce. Lack of communication again. Point goes to Commerce. Out of bounds. Point goes to East Long Meadow. And it will be number six, Paige Seuss, taking the serve. So far in this game, there hasn't been a lot of very good rallies. Just been back and forth, very usually quick plays. But currently right now, we're in the middle of a very good volley, back and forth. As the ball continues to go back and forth, back and forth, Commerce is unable to save it. Point goes to Slung Meadow. Scores currently 17 East Long Meadow, 7 Commerce High School. Great 
great hit over the net. Number three on Commerce has had a, a couple of very good hits over the net. As she goes and tries to save the ball, but kind of a hard hit to save. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Unlucky hit there as they hit the divider. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Again, for a lot of the away teams, it is kind of hard for them to see with um, the divider whether or not or how the ball is going to get played. But if the ball is to hit the divider and come back on your side, you have to hit it. Good hit over the back there by Commerce. Great dig there by Commerce. Hit into the net. Point goes to East Long or point goes to Commerce. Good save there by number 18, Cara Balboni. As a set hit. Good save there by Caroline O'Connor. With a hit by Jamie Mikowitz. Point in, good placement. Point goes to Stung Meadow. Hit into the net. Point goes to Commerce. Score is currently twenty. Stung Meadow eleven. Commerce High School. Strong hit there by number 11, Rachel Walzak. Hit into the net. And that. Unlucky hit there. Point goes to East Long Meadow. <laughs> Lack of communication again. Point goes to East Long Meadow. So it will be taken by number 11, Rachel Michelson. Or Rachel Walzak, excuse me. Strong hit, but hit into the net. Point goes to Commerce. Score is currently 24 East Long Meadow, 12 Commerce High School. Good save there for East Long Meadow. Great hit there by number 18, Cara Barboni, but great save by Commerce as it's hit back over into East Long Meadow territory. Good hit there by Commerce again. Hit, but hit into the net. Point goes to Commerce. Unlucky timing. 
in East Long Meadow reaches 25 points. So East Long Meadow will win the first game 25 to 13. We'll be right back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm Annalisa Mazza, here beside my camera girl, Nina Fazio, as our East Long Meadow varsity girls volleyball team takes on Commerce High School, the Red Raiders. East Long Meadow currently won the first game in today's match. They won it 25 to 13. And within a few seconds, we will be starting our second game. It will be Commerce who starts us off in this match. Great hit up. Set. Hit back to Julia, and Julia Decker will score the first point in the second game of today's match. Unlucky hit there, point goes to Commerce. Good volley currently. As Jamie Mikowitz hits it over. Over the light. Oh, good save there by Commerce. As they hit it back over. And good point there by number 20, Megan Lindsay. Great job there for number 15, Jamie Mikowitz. Strong serve there by number two, Caroline O'Connor. Hit out of bounds, point goes to East Long Meadow. Unlucky hit there by Commerce. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently five, East Long Meadow, one, Commerce High School. Another great serve there by number two, Caroline O'Connor. She's been having a great game so far. Lack of communication there, gets the best of East Long Meadow. Point goes to Commerce. Tip off the finger, point will go to East Long Meadow. Scores currently 60 East Long Meadow to Commerce High School. Great dig from Commerce.
Great teamwork by Commerce. And I'll give them a point. Point goes to uh, Commerce High School. Great play there for Reese Langmeadow. <laughs> Unlucky judge there from East Langmeadow. Point will go to Commerce. Good save there for Reese Meadow, but it will be Commerce Point, though. Head out of bounds, point goes to Commerce. Score is now eight East Long Meadow, seven Commerce High School. Great save here by East Long Meadow. As the volley is continued, as Commerce hits it back over. Oh, good attempt there for East Long Meadow, but it will be Commerce point. Score is now all tied up, 8-8. Eight, eight. Great hit over. Bat return hit from Commerce. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Out of bounds, point goes to East Long Meadow. <laughs> Unlucky hit, point goes to East Long Meadow. Bit of a weak hit there from East Long Meadow. Another weak hit, and point will go to Commerce.
Unfortunate hit there. Point goes to Commerce. Point out of bounds. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently 12 East Long Meadow, 11 Commerce High School. Again, overall, this game has very little energy between both sides. Um, communication is getting better. And there is some uh, better plays uh, that are beginning to show. But for the most part, both sides, very low energy. And um, I mean, it is, yeah, Thursday after school, and it is an after school game. Um, and we are lacking with fans. So LCAT supporters, try to stop by with any team, even if you don't have a family or friend relation. The girls love it when you come out and support them. But um, personally, they just need to, they just need to bring up their energy. Be a little bit more happy, be a little bit more ready to play. And that will be a point for Commerce High School. Illegal hit on East Long Meadow. Point goes to Commerce. Score is all tied up, 13-13. Good save there by Commerce as the ball rolls off the net. Hit into the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Good hit over. Great hit there by number 15, Jamie Mikowitz. Good attempt there by number two, Carolina O'Connor, but point will go to Commerce. Another there, very strong hit there by number 15, Jamie Mikowitz. As Commerce hits it into the net, point will go to East Long Meadow. Hit into the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Bad hit there by Commerce. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently 17 East Long Meadow, 14 Commerce High School. Bad hit into the net. Point goes to East Long Meadow.
Strong hit there over by from Commerce. <laughs> Referees are going to consult on whether or not the ball was in or out. Final decision is the ball was out of bounds, so point will go to Commerce. Score is currently 20-15. Bad hit, point goes to Commerce. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Scores currently 21 East Long Meadow, 16 Commerce High School. Great placement location for number 14, Julia Holland, for that last point. Great tip over the net. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Ball didn't reach it over the net. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Good hit over the net. Bad hit over, but that will be game point for East Long Meadow. East Long Meadow will now also take the second game in today's match. They are currently 2-0, and oh, winning for today's uh, match. And we'll be right back as we will return to the third game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm Annalisa Mazza, here by side my camera girl, Nina Fazio, as East Long Meadow now enters the third game in today's match as our girls' volleyball team takes on Commerce High School, the Red Raiders. Issa Meadow currently won the two game, the first two games of today's match, and we are now in the third. And the game will start with a serve by number 16, Katie Bonavita. Bad first play of the game, point goes to East Long Meadow. If East Long Meadow wins this final third game, they win the entire match. And that will be their first victory of the season.
Bad hit into the net, point goes to Commerce. Good save there by Commerce. Oh. Attempt of a save, but referee calls a foul against East Long Meadow. Point goes to Commerce. Strong serve there by East Long, or strong hit there by East Long Meadow, excuse me. Another very strong hit there by East Long Meadow. Point goes to East Long Meadow. And I'm going to give a shout out right there to number 13, Julia Decker, who's been having a great game today. That was a very good serve, so good job to her. Simple hit over. Commerce unable to connect. Point goes to East Long Meadow. <laughs> Unlucky hit there for East Long Meadow. Point goes to Commerce. Good job there for placement by number, um, actually I'm going to take that back because I didn't fully see who hit that ball, but good job there for East Long Meadow. Scores currently for East Long Meadow, five Commerce High School. Good attempt of a date there by Commerce, but point will go to East Long Meadow. Hit into the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Hit into the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Score is currently seven East Long Meadow, five Commerce High School. Stop due to a uh, young fan's disruption there with a throw of a sippy cup. But uh, game will resume and no points were given. <laughs> Hit into the net, point goes to, East, or point goes to Commerce. Out of bounds, point goes to East Long Meadow. Scores currently eight East Long Meadow, six Commerce High School. So it will be taken by number one, Kristen Flanagan. But it will be a hit into the net, so point will go to Commerce.
Very strong serve there from Commerce. Their communication. Unfortunate backwards hit. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Good hit by number 15, Jamie Mikowitz. Hit into the net point, goes to Commerce. Good effort there by Commerce, but point will go to East Long Meadow. Hmm. Score is currently 11 East Long Meadow, 8 Commerce High School. Unlucky reserve hit there, or return hit, excuse me. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Unlucky hit there again by Commerce. Point goes to Slung Meadow. Another great strong hit there from East Long Meadow. Point will go back to East Long Meadow. Servant in the net. Point goes to Commerce. Nice attempted save there, but point will go to Commerce. <laughs> Strong hit there by East Long Meadow. An unlucky return hit there by Commerce. Point will go to East Long Meadow. Great communication on East Long Meadows' part. Good play there for Commerce, though. Great dig there by number two, Caroline O'Connor. Another great dig there.
lift of the ball, point goes to Commerce. Unlucky hit, point goes to Commerce. Scores currently 17 East Long Meadow, 12 Commerce High School. Ball hit way out of bounds. Point goes to East Long Meadow. Good hit there by Commerce. Good over get tip over by Commerce. Point will go to Commerce High School. Scores currently 18 East Long Meadow, 13 Commerce High School. Hit into the net, point goes to East Long Meadow. Very strong serve from Commerce. Another great dig by Caroline, another great dig by Commerce. Good attempt there from East Long Meadow, but point will go to Commerce. Great return hit from Commerce. Hit out of bounds, point will go to Commerce. Scores currently 20 East Long Meadow, 17 Commerce High School. Ball hit backwards, point goes to East Long Meadow. East Long Meadow is currently four points away from their first win this season. Hit out of bounds, point goes to East Long Meadow.
Lack of communication there from Commerce side. Again, point goes to East Long Meadow. More lack of communication. Point goes to East Long Meadow. East Long Meadows are currently one point away from a victory today. And that is game, ladies and gentlemen. East Long Meadow brings home their first victory of the season with a three to nothing game or er, match over Commerce. Overall, great game for East Meadow. Again, probably very happy that they got their first win today. Um, thank you for all the LCAT viewers for watching the game today. Uh, we really appreciate it here with LCAT. Also, if you get the chance, please come out and see these girls play. They really like it when they have big stands. You can check Mass Live for the air schedule. Um, also, as well as checking the Mass Live for any of the other high school schedules. We do have boys and girls soccer currently playing. We have field hockey, cross country, cross country excuse me, for both teams, and, of course, East Long Meadow football. Again, I'm Annalisa Meza here by side my camera operator, Nina Fazio. Before we finish off today's game, I'd just like to give a shout-out to our offensive player of the game today, number 15, Jamie Mikowitz, our, one of our senior captains. Did do a great job offensively today with a bunch of good hits. Our defensive player of the game, I'm going to give it to Caroline O'Connor. She had many good digs today along with she did a great job of keeping – um, the pace of the game overall, very smooth. Our play of the game was in the third period when the score was 16 to 10. Great dig there by number two, Caroline O'Connor. Another great dig there. The whole volley, I would say, was a very good play. Plus, you also have Caroline's two very good digs. And then I usually don't do this, but I really believe that she that she deserves it and she did a great job. Was Commerce's um, player of the game is going to be number three. I wasn't un I was unfortunately unable to get her name before the game start, but she did a fantastic job with taking good control for her team, spreading her abilities out offensively and defensively, so good job again, number three. Again, I'm Annalise Meza here by side, Dina Fazio. Thank you again, and we're off.